go. It is Sketchy Live Monday. Yes. Another Monday in the books. All right, Season wrap it up. Five, episode ten tonight. Episode ten. Which, you know, yeah, ten. 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 So, ten. hey, welcome to Sketchy Live. I am Johnny Galoppi, and with me, as always, my lovely wife, ADP. I hope did I, I did mark that we had Sketchy tonight, right? And yeah, I didn't promote it very good today. You did. Today was. I don't want to get into it uh, and start it negative, but. It's been a rough uh, three or four days, so Just I'm happy, coming off, coming off excited, day. excited to uh, be drawing and get my mind off of numbers yes. and items and different other things like that. So let's get to it. What are you drawing? And I need to say I'm drawing a lot here. You did. Okay. <laughs> That's how off I am. Long night, folks. It's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna try. Well, I'm <laughs> trying to keep a good I attitude know. about it, though. He is. He's got some wine. Trying to relax, get in the zone. Not a zone. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Right. <laughs> as well as Fred and Bob. Yeah, we'd like to have any of you guys that want to sponsor <laughs> us. It would be great. We would start taking some sponsors. We talked about doing commercials. We did talk about it. Um, we, we had some folks do some commercials for, uh, for themselves. Yeah. Those were fun. Okay. We're going to draw a little hot rod shop, uh, a hot rod truck. So. Hot rod. Did a little pre, did a little pre draw, a yeah. little basic outline of it, and uh, so that'll allow us to Fun. get in here and get funky. Yeah. I'm actually going to do this in a pencil style instead of uh, an ink pen, just to kind of keep it loose and sketchy. Okay. So yeah, that's where we're at. Fun. Okay, so pre sketch was done earlier today, and he's going back in and technically inking it in. So we will see how this one turns yeah, out. I might, I might deviate a little bit from the septum. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to have a talk? Is there some kind of issue? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you who is joining us tonight. We've got 21 viewers tonight. Well, sweet. Well, we're so sure happy far, to hear. Please, if you're watching, tell us where you're from. Feel free to tell us the weather where you are. <laughs> Feel free to tell us how you heard about. Who, who you are, Johnny where you've been. Hot Rod Art or Johnny Jalopy uh, Sketchy Live. Tell us how, how you made it over here. Which is interesting because um, a lot of you are Facebook followers, but Johnny promotes on Instagram as well. So I'm wondering how many people from Instagram are actually migrating over. For yeah, this. it would be great to know uh, that insight. So let uh, us know I where you're know how many are. Why is it... Uh... Some of the parameters are unlocked. Our very first hello comes from a Shaggy Lavalon. Shaggy, welcome. Shaggy is um, an amazing metal fabricator. He does some beautiful work. We have a few of his pieces around the house. He made me a beautiful butterfly um, that I have hanging on my wall. Mm -hmm. um, he has done metal work for car show awards, awards that they give out to the winners of the shows, and just cool stuff, cool stuff. So go check them out, um, Shaggy LeBlanc. Thanks for joining us, Shaggy. Good to see you. 
Mike Ferrucci is joining us. Evening all. Let's get sketchy. Let's get. Someone's excited. <laughs> Let us get sketchy. Let us get sketchy. <laughs> Mike Williams is joining us. Good evening from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tuscaloosa. Love to say it. Um, Lizzie is joining us, Lizzie Daughtry. She said, hello, you too. Itty B, did you get the thing I sent to you? Can you show it on camera if you don't mind? Lizzie, I've got it right, right here. So I'm going to open it up. Um, Lizzie sent me, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it is a borax, made of borax. Like crystal. the soap, right? Or the, well, yeah, I, yeah the, I said, what like they, the soap, what they she make, said yes. What they make so she made this, I don't know if you can see it. It's not too heavy, but it is It is pretty solid. It's hard. Cool. Um, and it, she did it in green, and it's very crystallized. Thank you, Lizzie, for sending this. Um, she does some amazing work. I have some of her jewelry as well. Everything's handmade. And, in fact, the sticker on it says, handmade with love. So nice. You know. So you know it's legit. Dig the tagline. All right. Yes, I love it. So thank you for sending. Um, Paul Marziani is joining us. Welcome, Paul, from Bradenton. Paul um, is over there at the Bradenton Motor Sports Park. Is it I think Motor it's Sports Park, yeah. Motor Sports Park? Sports. 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 The McCoys are joining us. Brian what and Lisa up? McCoy from Cajun Country. Cajun Country. In Louisiana. I don't, know where, I don't know where these Cajuns are, but I know where some Cajuns are. Jim Pollen is joining us. Hey, everyone. Hello from Hot Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Garage. What is this? Horseheads. He said, I received last week's sketch. It's awesome. Thank you. Yes, Hope last you week, it. Johnny did an amazing um, and unique front view. I don't know if it's unique. It is because you don't normally do it. Maybe front unique view. to me, yes. It's unique to his stylings. But he I, don't, I don't do that, view, that front view very much. A uh, 32 Ford and people just went crazy over this thing. So go check it out. In fact, it's up on the website, johnnyjalopi.com. Uh, and there should be a banner scrolling across the top. Get your banners across the top. <laughs> Matthew Schleip. Schleip? I think it's Schleip. The I before the E. I want to say Schleip. Hello from Grand Marais, Minnesota. Welcome. Hey, what's up, Minnesota? I talked with somebody in Minnesota today. Minnesota? We're not trying to come here. No, I love the it. The is cool. It is cool. I wish I could do access. I, I try, and every you, accent you, I do sounds exactly the same. Because you you have an accent, that's why. Is it? Yeah, you have an accent. So you? I don't. You do. I have uh, what is, what is you have called, a pretentious accent. <laughs> I have what's called uh, English. Oh, is that what it is? I've got uh, the California accent where there's no accent at all. It's like, hey, man. Man. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta go up. How'd you get here? You man? gotta go through the 405 down Mulholland. And... <laughs> Um, Tracy Cornfield's joining us. I made it, guys, on time. Hey, so, what's up, man? Missed you guys. Yeah, we were wondering where you were last week. Well, in many weeks. Many weeks. It's been a couple weeks. So welcome tonight. Uh, Matthew said, I'm having trouble with the number of Johnny Jalopy shirts I should buy. Let me help. Listen. One of each. Yeah, that's always <laughs> a good time. Yeah. More um, to come. I'll tell you, there are probably a couple, maybe two or three Ron John shirts in his collection that we picked up years ago that he still has. I still enjoy uh, Definitely, a he's Ron got, John. He's got the Ian Russell shirts. Um, we have shirts um, that you've designed for people. He's done the artwork on that he's mm -hmm. worn, which was another cool thing. We were at um, a restaurant here locally last weekend. Was it last weekend? Uh, or yes. just a couple days ago? Uh, Where did we go? Friday? It was Friday. It was Friday night. Was it Friday? Yeah, it was Friday. I just got paid. It was Friday night. We went to a local restaurant, and one of the gentlemen at the restaurant had on a uh, a shirt that Johnny designed. We thought it was pretty cool, so he took a picture of it. Uh, did you post it? I did not. It was a memorial, uh, it's a memorial shirt, shirt, and I didn't feel like it was appropriate to necessarily. Right. I, I just did it because it was good to see out in um, in the wild. In the wild. Yeah. When he approached the guy, he's like, "Can I take a picture of this?" I, 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 it's very rare that I see one of my shirts out in the wild. 
Although um, Dan, uh, Dan Evans in our fellowship uh, showed up yesterday with his Johnny Jalopy shirt. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, Thanks, and my kids, my son Dylan wears his all the time. Kevin yeah. wears his all the time. My well, son that's Kevin. cool. Yeah, so there is some Johnny Jalopy gear. I'm always worried that you know, maybe it's they're just not, I don't know. Well, as far as my kids are concerned, they probably don't have other shirts to wear. I like wearing them, so. Yeah, so you know. everything else in, in his shirt closet is Johnny Jalopy shirts. I mean, the reality is the whole reason why I've done shirts is because I just always wanted to have wear your own. my own shirt and be able to wear it. And, and boom, there we are. So to answer your question, Matthew, tons to choose from. Right now, all black. We don't have other colors available right now. Um, but any design that you want from there. So, But hey, um, colors to come, maybe. Keep keep your eye out because that new uh, the one, the artwork that we just completed that you're talking about, that Model A. Oh, uh, from last week, yes. Yeah, is going to be a, a new Johnny, for it. New Johnny Jalabi Hot Rod Art shirt. We, yes. we don't have a Hot Rod Art shirt. So. Right, we've been leaning toward the sketchy speed design that Johnny's worn tonight. So, yeah, it'll be cool to have a Johnny Jalabi Hot Rod Art shirt. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, Bob McLaren is joining us from the 51st state. Hi, Bob. Uh, the 51st state being southern New Jersey. <laughs> um, Matt said, was negative three here this morning in northern Minnesota. It got to 34 today. Um, probably like 83 here today, I would say. Yeah. My daughter was laying out actually by the pool for a little bit, so that gives you an indication. I talked to my dad, who's in New Jersey, and he said it was snowing there today, so a little difference in the temperature. Um, Scott Hill is joining us. Is, hey, Scott, Scott. is Scott Hill uh, one of your Northern Tool guys? Oh, well, formerly a former, uh, okay. Northern Tool guy who has now moved on to bigger and better things. Very cool. I knew the name sounded familiar. Or as we like to call it, got. Uh, he got parole and has escaped. And Good for you, man. Keep that's running. right. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't miss the inventory. <laughs> if he was even in on it. Uh, he, yeah, he, no, he used to have to do the help us with our shop inventories. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, so so he knows exactly what you've been going through the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, Tracy Corpel said, me from Rocky Mount, Virginia. I found Johnny from Full Custom Garage. Yes, a lot of people have um migrated over after watching the show and seeing johnny on the show and watching the collaboration between him and ian it was really great chemistry between the two of them i think and they came up with some really cool designs so there are three shows already in publication and another one um that they're still working on but we don't have any yeah no uh, no so definitive answer as to when that's going to be done i think they're still building still building Yes, so, the build is still in progress. So there is more to come, um, and we're just waiting now to see if, if Johnny will be called to come back out and, and be a part of maybe the final part of it, the ending of it. Yeah, we're hoping for the, the reveal, reveal, paint, or whatever. You know, anything. anything. Great. He'll volunteer for anything at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to um, say I'm not a ham for the for TV, but yeah, I like it. I enjoy it. Draco is joining us. Draco's been been a Johnny Jalopy Army member for quite some time. Draco's a ride or die. He is. Since um, day one. We, we met him <laughs> in, in real life. We got to meet him in real yeah, life. Yeah, that was a great time. So that was fun. Super cool to visit him in Georgia. He said, I found you while watching you and Chris doing a drawing together. Is he talking about um, Chris Custer? Oh, very possible, yeah. Maybe. Um, Chris Custer is a local artist. Uh, Motormouth Studios, mm -hmm, I believe, yeah. is the name of his his um, business over there. Good guy. He draws with his mouth because he doesn't have full use of his hands. He had an accident. Um, but I will tell you, has not stopped him. No, he is. He's a force, man. He has some really good. I love. He does amazing watercolors. Yes, he does. And I had wanted, wanted to own one for, for quite some time. time. And, and every time I contact him about one, it's either sold, sold or I, we, we never got, got to get, get it. But he's, he's done, done some, some really cool stuff. stuff. He does. He's, he's awesome. Nose. Knows. I love his nose. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of Florida stuff. Um, he sets up sometimes, sometimes um, at the sun stocks. I've, I've never met. I've actually never met. He lives, he lives within like 15, 15 minutes of us. Johnny's, of course, met him and his daughter for quite some time. I have never met him. So, still a goal. I got to go there. It's good, dude. It's good, dude. Hard worker. You're having some 
technical difficulties with my screen today. I don't know what's going on. You are going to push through, sir. Yes, we are. Uh, James Olchin is joining us. Sorry, I'm late. You guys uh, must have been on time. Ha ha. Jim Olchin, Olchin from Lincoln, Nebraska. 48 degrees and sunny take. Well, at least you've got some sun. Right, that's right. Might be a little good chilly, on but sun is always good. Good on you. It is. Good for you. Um, Shaggy LeBlanc says, sweet. Lizzie said, you are so welcome. Yes, thank you again. Uh, she said, I'm so glad you got it. Enjoy. I will. Um, Mike Williams said, where are you at? Where am I at? We're, we're in Newport Richie, Florida. That's right. Um, I know it's not a town most have heard of. No, it's it in the not. Tampa Bay area, so that gives you an indication of where in Florida. West side. Oh. West side. Yeah. Um, <laughs> West Side Central, the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Coast. What are they called? The Gulf Coast? I don't know. I have no idea what you're we going to talk about. We don't know. Um, oh, and he said it's not schleip, it's schleep. It sounds like schleep. Did I write this down? I don't think you did. That's a good note to take. I didn't write it down, and that's why I don't remember. Here's my notes Microsoft Surface Book 3. Because <laughs> I never know what device he's working on. I just I can't remember it. And then Sketchable is the app that he's using. And then I have Luke Vito, his name written down because I couldn't pronounce his last right. name. And then I have EOB. This is for you um, old timers um, on the Johnny Chalabi uh, Sketchy Live show here. POB was popping out babies. And it was, <laughs> do you remember that? I don't. You don't remember it? Yeah. <laughs> I think Hank ah. came up with it. Um, and then I have uh, Freya, which is Jeff Bell's daughter's name, which I couldn't pronounce. So these are just a few of the things that I've uh, accumulated over the years. <laughs> My notes, if you will. Um, I mentioned Hank Dutton, by the way. Um, Hank is our web designer. You can reach him at hankd.com. He has some phenomenal stuff going on artistically over at his website as well. So go check him out. Not only does he do the web design, um, he's helped us with the, um, he, he's really just a, a cheerleader overall. Fantastic ideas for business stuff and for promoting our stuff. For sure. Yeah. He's, he's been so easy to work with, so approachable, and um, we, we love working with him for our website. He's done an amazing job. If you haven't been over to johnnyjalopi.com, go check it out. You'll see it at the bottom of, your, of the uh, broadcast here. Um, Lizzie is uh, www.facebook.com. Elizabeth Ann May Jewelry, if you want to find her. We have some super talented people on our broadcast here on Monday night. So if yes, you have we something do. to share, let us know. We yeah. basically do commercials every week. We do, yeah. We, do. we are great <laughs> at promoting others, promoting other others. stuff. We try to at least. Because, because we're, we're blessed to know all of you. Absolutely. All right. Why are we doing this? Um, really Lizzie is also on YouTube, and if you look in the comments, she has posted her YouTube information. Kevin Johnson is joining us. Hello from HUD Wiss. Time to get sketchy. Yes, sir. Um, Lizzie said you guys are echoing. Hmm. You should be. What's up? You might be listening. Yeah, because our. Do I need to mute one of these? Uh, go to the main. Uh, go to the left hand side one. I'm on it. You're not muted. No, here. the left hand side one at the top. That would be the right. I'm already on the left hand side. Okay, I'm sorry. The right hand on the top. Okay, are we muted on there? On this camera? Where would I go? Here? Mute? Yeah, man. Now you're muted. Okay, now go back to the regular one on the left hand side up top. Yeah, now it's muted. Okay. Maybe that's better. Is that better, Lizzie? Let us know. Good yeah, one if it happened. What's that? Is our main is yeah, so we have microphone on that one, right? Main camera's microphone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um Tracy said, Hey, remember my first sketchy show? My bud Lane Kelton was in your show, and I asked him to say Tallywhacker in his accent. Never forget that show. Itty B <laughs> laughed so hard. <laughs> That's right. Um Lane Kelton actually was um one of our first guests on the show um, that actually came I'm to the house well, to sketch. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that actually came here to the viewer studio. that a viewer of Sketchy yes. that came on. Yes, because I've had family members as special guests, and we've had a couple people come in as special guests that happen to be staying with us. But, right. but yes, so that was super cool. Um, Mike Frucci said, "Lizzie Daughtry, I thought it was just me. Thanks. Okay, hopefully we fix it. So let us know." 
Uh, Tom McLean said, good friends with CJ Custer, super talented artist. Yes, Tom, he is. Super, super talented. Fantastic. Great dude. And and you've done, like like um, like they were saying earlier, Johnny's actually gone over and they did a little collaboration together. So we tried. Was- I mean, you know, there's been some stuff that we tried to do. Yeah. Uh, Drake said, Lane sounds like a city slicker next to me. City slicker. Draco does have a bit of a southern draw. Yes, he does. Yeah. I like it, though. Yeah, absolutely. I do like it. I miss your videos. Um, Draco used to do live videos. With I his think Draco painting. still does. I just don't think you're watching them. I don't. I haven't seen. Yeah, I haven't gotten a notification of any of them. Hmm. Draco, are you still doing your live videos? Let us know. And if you are, let us know so we can share it with everybody else so they can go check it out. He has this ability of, of painting and drawing uh, and doing art on these little tiny things. Like he, he does little ping pong balls and he does whole little scenes and everything. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. I can't even imagine. I can barely see what I'm typing right now and what you guys are saying with my glasses on. Um, Wesley Wilkerson said, flip over, read directions, question mark. <laughs> right. Lizzie said, it sounds better. No echo now. Sounds good. better. Very good, guys. Sorry about that. Um, Howard Pierpont is tuning in, overcast in Greeley, Colorado. What? Howard, I got your message, and I tried calling you back today, and it went to voicemail. So I left a message. So maybe we can touch base um, after the broadcast tonight. Um, Matthew Schleep said, does Johnny ever sketch fans' rides? If a fan sent him a picture of their ride, could he, would he be willing to sketch with his style added in, put his stank on it? Actually, Matthew, he does. Um, in fact, he makes a side job living it's doing just commission that. Jobs. It is called commission work. Yep. And um, it, it's probably not something he would do in sketchy. And I will tell you why. These sketchy designs are just that. It's it's really um, indicative of his specific style. And these are quick designs. Um, anything that he's doing for a paying client, commission work, would be much more detailed. And he probably would not get it done in the hour to three hours that we spend on a Monday night here. <laughs> uh-huh. we, we try to keep it at, at about an hour, um, but he would never be able to do it on a Monday night. So, I mean, yeah, he's done some sketchy stuff for people, but not, not for paying clients. You know, um, I think you've done, uh, have you done a sketchy of one of, um, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't think I have. I don't know who you're talking the about. The McCoys. I was thinking of the no, McCoys. No, I haven't done anybody. Oh, I thought you did. You haven't done anybody's in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So no, he hasn't done any any. Well, not not even just commission work, but just to do a fun thing of somebody's car. Yeah, I mean, it, again, that was real quick sketchy. It was just sketchy drawing. Super, it was. It would be something that he would be given to that person. So now. We don't normally do these. I feel if, if somebody you know is gonna want me to do uh, their ride, I I wouldn't want to do it just us a, a dis justice by just service. Yeah, uh, by hustling through it. So yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Draco said no lies. But commission since is Christmas. The commission is a uh, is it's available. available. Yeah. It's available. Hit us up. Um, Draco said no lives since Christmas. So okay. he hasn't been doing this since Christmas. I knew it. I knew I saw them stop. Okay. Well, I don't want to get personal and ask you why, but I would I would love to see them again. I do, I just love hearing your voice. It's very soothing. <laughs> oh, Cam McNulty is joining us. Hi, Cam. It's me, do uh and we have it. Um, Howard Pierpont said 75 degrees. I'll call tomorrow. That would be fantastic. Okay. What are we thinking on this sketch? Perfect. Let me zoom in on it for everybody. We'll get some feedback. James Olchen said beautiful truck. Love it. Yeah, that is cool. This reminds me of a, um, like a baby blue one that you did. And it may not be the same year. Baby blue one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It was like a surf truck. All right. You don't remember? I don't know. He's done millions. Like I'm, like he's supposed to. Remember. I hope I haven't done this one before. I don't think I have. No, it doesn't look exactly the same. And if you don't do a blue, then it's not going to look the same at all. <laughs> Just little nuances can really change it. And this is something that I have learned. Never really got this before. So 
I know last week we talked about the fact that I am going to be getting a Jeep. You are right here. That's what I hear. It's the word on the street. Um, they're supposed to call me when it's here and it's been over a week now and I just want it here already so I can get on with my life. But <laughs> You and me both. Um, Johnny worked late last night and I don't know if anyone caught my post, but I was literally at home just adding stuff in my shopping cart so that way I didn't forget stuff that I liked because I wanted to run everything past him and make sure that anything I was trying to purchase for the Jeep was the correct Right. Yeah. Let's, let's clarify. You weren't running it past me for permission to purchase. You were doing it as a, Hey, is this what will work? Will in this, my car? Is this, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because um, there were some folks that were thinking like you were asking me for permission. No, we don't, we, we don't want to send the wrong message that you have to ask for permission. I don't have to ask for permission, but I would never purchase something as, without coming to as you. the other way. It also goes that way too. The other way. Never I, ask for permission. I don't got to ask shit. No, but you do say, hey, I'm thinking about getting this. Wouldn't this be cool? And then I'm like, yeah. Like, I haven't said no to anything that you wanted to purchase. It's a good thing. For your Jeep. So anyway, it's a good thing $700 you later, my cart was full of like 11 things. Your cart runneth over. <laughs> and here's the thing. I can remember going to car shows with Johnny early on in our relationship. First year we met, he took me to several. We spent many dates at the swap meet where i'm like what are we doing why here? are we doing this <laughs> it is dusty there's nothing but dogs here like which i didn't mind actually the dogs were great i literally went for the kettle corn the lemonade and the soft well you didn't know any, uh, anything about any of those things when you first went so you can't say you went for those because you didn't even i didn't know they, know were, they were there yeah. first time i went i was happy to see that there was something for the women <laughs> yeah, there were some embroidery. There were embroidery purses and uh, a couple little kitchen items. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you looking for stuff? First of all, you didn't even have a car at that point. Mm -hmm. That was before we got Raquel, our '51 Chevy. So he was just looking to look in case anything popped up that he wanted to get. Then once we got the car, the 51 Chevy, it was all about what can we get to change this? What can we get to change that? I never understood why this was needed. You're like, why, yes. why do you need to change it? If it was something to improve it, like he was looking at air conditioning. Great. We're in Florida. I'll go with it. Yes. Spend all the money you want on air conditioning. Cause I was hot driving in that car, but while he's looking at light caps and, um, Oh, what got me was these pipes that he bought. That he never planned to hook up to anything. It was just for decoration. That's not true. That's what you said. That's what's telling you. Oh. They were going to be functional. All right. Well, in any case, I'm like, why are you buying all this stuff? So fast forward to this year when he purchases the Jeep that he just got, the Gladiator. Well, way beyond before that. I, I've been buying little doodads for the, the, bu the bug and different stuff. And you've been very, why, why do we need that? Why do we need this? And then now you have th this possible vehicle or your vehicle coming and you're mm -hmm. now excited because it's, it's the cool thing about a Jeep is you can be very cu customizable and you can really make it your own. And now you suddenly understand how quickly it adds up. Well, not even so much the adds up that it's, it, there's something fun about personalizing your vehicle. First of all, let me tell you how responsible I'm being. The first couple things that I'm even getting, the first couple things on the list, seat covers to protect the seats. That's right now. I'm telling you. Side steps so that people can get in and out of my vehicle. Yeah. I do shuttling Super for important. our fellowship. Way important. And that's important for me to have. So yeah. I can still yeah. maintain that help in our group. Right. Um, and then the other thing, um, a smaller antenna, because apparently the big antenna can hit the Jeep and scratch the paint. I didn't uh, even know this. That's not why. Why? This is not about to scratch the paint. That's what you said. Because it hits up against the fender. It's not like it scratches the paint. Well, then why would that be a problem? Noise? Maybe noise. So I got a smaller antenna. So I got practical things. Mm. I didn't get mm. bling and fun mm. stuff. I don't know. That's did not you? practical things? I don't know if you did. Seat covers? I, I, don't think you're, I don't think you're being as practical as you think you are. Anyways. <laughs> I'm excited. And I, I now finally I've, understand why 
people want to customize. I couldn't take my Chevy Equinox and buy all this. I guess I could have. Who, people just don't do that, though. Who'd want to? But with the Jeep, and I already have the name picked out. I will tell you, Johnny's been a sticker wizard. Um, he is custom making stickers to put on his Jeep. And I'm going to have him custom make my Jeep name to put on mine once I get it. So I'm excited. <laughs> All righty. Let me that's what I'm saying. That's what's funny is you're so yeah. excited about the stickers, the, the stickers and the, the name and the thing. Yeah. That's the fun part for yeah. me. Why? What are you excited about? For you to finally get it. No. What are so you, you excited about? Shut with up that? about it. <laughs> Look, I can't. I couldn't go to the dealership and just pick mine up. You could have. You're picking. They didn't have what I wanted. You could have. They didn't have what I wanted. Um, James said, "Beautiful truck. I love it." Oh, Raphael VW is joining us. Raphael is such a kind man. Oh my goodness, I love this guy so nice so fun always super high energy he's the best and such a great promoter he loves johnny's art and we love you Raphael. he says wepa wepa what is up man doc is joining us gonna have to find out what it would be to draw one of my scale models we'll send a pm to jj indeed do sir indeed do indeed do mike fruit said awesome sketch so he's oh, digging no. it Michael Williams is joining us. Greetings and felicitations, okay. felicitations from Mount Morris, New York, cool. and a long absent fanatic of Sketchy Live. We oh you, well, yeah, thanks for being coming back. It's great to know that you still kick picks. Missed you. Quit stealing our springtime. Snowed last night. Cold as hell today. <laughs> yeah, if your this dad is was an talking April about right. Fools, it ain't funny, and it's too early. <laughs> your dad was saying it was. I know. Was talking about that, he did. Um, Lizzie said, nice ride. Mike Frucci said, Ford F100. Tracy said, awesome. Sketch, big guy. Yeah, what do we think of this color choice? A little mint green. I like the mint green. Yeah. Brightens it up a bit. Yeah, it looks cool, I think. Uh, Draco said, big window. Raphael said, hi, Mofongo Power. Love you guys. Yeah, we got to get, uh, we need to make it another bug show soon. I got to, I got to fix it. We were we gotta, invited over the weekend. You yeah, were working, working and Kona wasn't working. Yeah. Kona wasn't working, but you were working. I was working. <laughs> um, Raphael said, greetings, my people. I hope you are well. As always, a pleasure to see you. Same to you, sir. Mike Frucci said, um, if you need any work done on your Jeeps, my buddy in Palm Harbor customizes them. He does great work. Good to know. What is the name of his place? Or does he have a place? Or is it just used as an inside? Yes, let us know because Johnny may be looking into doing a little bit of lift. Yeah, I mean, uh, that is happening. So we got to get that figured out. Drago said she was pushing one cart and pulling another one. <laughs> um, Jess John Jensen, I would love to see you do your own version of a Cushman truckster. And the truck looks amazing. I you do pick us drawings. <laughs> I, I remember this. Yeah, really? this was from a couple of weeks ago. It was my monday oh was it yeah. last monday <laughs> we'll get to it yeah, i promise want to see the uh cushman, cushman truck sir um draco wants to know did you get the headlight eyelashes hell to the no no no, no. i will okay. say i will give you this your choices of uh things in in what you've talked to me about your plan as far as what you want to do to personalize it uh, I love the fact that your, your choices are going to be subtle. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do the whole, let's just throw the whole accessory aisle at your Jeep. Right. Which is great. I'm, and I'm, I'm, not proud doing, of, I'm proud of you for that. I'm not doing the, hey, look, I'm a Cause girl it, cause it, either. Right. You're not doing that. You're not, Nothing's you're purple not supposed, or yeah, pink. You're, you're, you're keeping it very beautiful. Some of the choices that you're, you're, but your color choices, the color palette you've decided to go, which I love is even though our ours will be the same color, um, that uh your going your palette choice off of that color will be different, will be different. yeah um uh, michael williams says love df1 but but you didn't use the v8 grill just curious maybe a cleaner look or are you custom just being baby an artist? custom custom he's all about the custom custom naz malone is joining us hey guys how you both doing we are great naz i hope everything's going well over there down on up uh, yeah, it's been a while, Spear man. Good to hear you. See, you. see you here. Robert Spear is joining us. He said, sorry, I was lost in Candy Crush. 
Do people still play that? I guess they do. Yeah, I think they still do. That's crazy. You know, it's funny because I was just thinking the other day, I, I play Wordle with my kids, but that's done in like two minutes. So if I have time to kill and I don't feel like scrolling, I'm like, what can I do that would be a fun game? And I really don't want to get caught up in Candy Crush. I don't think I've ever played it. I've never had it on my phone. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll do a solitaire. And I never wound up downloading anything because I got distracted. But I'm looking for something just something fun. Wordle's not enough? It's two minutes. Two, you literally solve the puzzle two in two minutes, minutes, minutes and then it's done for the day. Two minutes of You're just upset because you're boredom. not included in, our, in oh, our... I'm perfectly okay with not being a part of your little group lame circle, lame or, group or wordle circle <laughs> um james alton said perfect color frank corio is joining us from san diego he says great job thank welcome you, frank thank you. Uh, mike first said black sheep customs is the name of that okay we will keep that in mind yeah Draco said, thank God that I'm not doing the eyelashes. Mike Fergie said, every Wednesday night on the Dunedin Causeway, they have Jeep night. Um, do you know how long that goes till? Because you're usually not home. Probably yeah, just sunset, that's the part that I sucks bet. is I work every yeah. Wednesday night. But well, let's um, try to make it. Maybe I can get to take a Wednesday off or something. Speaking of my Jeep, my salesperson is on with us tonight. All right. Ray Haas. He what is up, my, my uh, salesman over at Furman. He says it looks great. Thank you, sir. Ray, we were just talking about my Jeep and how I can't wait to get it. <laughs> wait for your phone call. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Like he controls it. I know. Uh, he's probably like, yeah, let's delay her another week. <laughs> um, Lizzie said, Ronnie Setzer is having a car show this Saturday here in Dade City. Starts at noon. We're going to be unable to make it. Johnny has to work on Saturday. So that is not available. The life of a retail salesman, yeah. our, our manager. That's true. Mike Frucci said, Itty, I'll PM you his info. Okay, great. We'll keep that on hand. Um, Lizzie Daughtry supposed to friggin' rain Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so maybe they'll get rained out. I don't know. Not that we're hoping that they do. No. Sometimes it doesn't rain till the end of the day, and those shows are usually in the morning, so right. it's possible. Um, Draco said Toy Blast. Apparently that's the game he plays. I'll have to check it out. Okay. Um, Doc said Toon Blast. We have an opening on our team. Oh, there's teams. <laughs> you would want me on your team. Do you even know my skill set? I don't know if you want to commit to that. Um, I, I'm pretty good at Wordle, and I used to do uh, Words with Friends, killed at that. Anything with words, I'm pretty good at. So I don't know what Toon Blast is. Um, I guess I'd have to look at it and see if it's something I could even do, but we'll see. Um, Lizzie said, don't let that stop you from coming out. Well, we won't have a car, Lizzie, and Johnny's working, so we probably won't be able to come Saturday. But we, we've got all summer, and he's going to get the bug up and running, so we have that as a play thing. Right now, we're, we're enjoying the Jeep. We've enjoyed it for the last couple of weeks. He's had it. In our free time, we've taken it out. We haven't attended yet any Jeep events per se. So I know there are a few of those coming up. So we just have to make time for Jeep events, Volkswagen events, car shows of all kinds. Yeah. And uh, just get out there this summer. Russ Randall's joining us. He says, nice. It is turning out cool. Let me zoom in on that again so you can see. Johnny is doing his signature uh, yellow windshield and back windshield. Is it still called a windshield in the back? Yeah. Rear windshield. Rear windshield. I guess so. Yeah. Naz Malone says, we are all good here. Unfortunately, a few places uh, nearby are dealing with flooding due to some ridiculously heavy and constant rain. Wow. But we are a little more elevated, so we are lucky for that. Well, thank God you're safe, Naz, and we're praying for everybody affected by the rains. All right. Uh, Draco said, teams on Toy Blast, too. So... Do I have to join it? Like, can I just be by myself? I just want something to kill. Oh, look at you, kill. Rebel. Well, I just want something to kill. Like, can I just be alone time. for with my thoughts? I'm just saying, I don't know if I want to commit to a team. This is like, it takes the fun out of bowling when you're on a bowling league. Does it? You got to show up and you got to put out. I think actually being on a bowling team is better than when you're by yourself. Well, I've never bowled by myself. I'm just saying, I don't know if I want that commitment. 
What if people are uh, depending on me to pull my weight and I'm not doing I can remember playing Gauntlet. Do you remember Gauntlet? No. I, I actually had a job and things to do. You never played the video game Gauntlet? No. You're lying right I'm now. I'm not lying. Whatever. I didn't play the game Gauntlet. What kind of game was it? It was a game where was you it racing and you killed people. Was no. it a racing game? Then I didn't play it. It was killing bad guys. Was it racing? No. Was it anything to do with cars? No. I didn't care. What about like Madden when you're on this? Are you one player on the team or are you um, controlling the whole team? I played Madden for a little while and then it just got boring. I'm like, because it's not racing. He's not letting me use any example. He's just going to fight me on this. Because so. I don't, I didn't play him. Alrighty. I'm going to zoom in on your. Papa had better things to do. Zooming in on your photo so I can make mean faces at you right now and I'm not on camera. Why are you making mean? Just what did I kidding. do? Josh May says he likes the roof. What is that? Some kind of uh, spoiler up there? No, it's a spoiler. A little custom touch. What is it? Little. That's the third brake light. Oh, in the back. Okay. Okay. So you're getting um, not a stock, but a customized Ford truck here. Uh, Draco said teams help you get extra lives and stuff. No commitment. Okay. <laughs> Doc said, love the yellow glass. Trying to learn to do that with scale models. Going to build the Johnny 5 VW hopefully this summer after I get two customer Jeeps done. Nice. Nice. Draco said, Call of Duty is my type of game. I've never, I've never played. You know what I used to yeah, play? Yeah, I wasn't. I like Pac Man. I played Pac Man, Mrs. Pac Man. I played Tetris. All one person games. I liked I liked playing shooter games. Um, like for a long time, I was playing Siphon Filter, which is like a sniper game. So I like those. But that's still again, it's not like you're playing on teams and stuff like that. Well, going back to the gauntlet thing, there'd be four of us, and each player was a different person on the team, and we had to work together to kill the bad guys help keep each other safe, mm -hmm. find all these keys and stuff like that. And it, there would always be somebody on my team holding me back. Like we couldn't move to the next room until we were all moving together. Right. And there'd always be that one person stuck in a corner that couldn't maneuver to get out, you know? And it wasn't you? It wasn't me. Oh. I was actually pretty good at it. I don't know if I'm buying that. Well, then next time we're at an That's, arcade of So you sort, said about air hockey woman. I was good at air. And you were, you were. Okay, you overpowered me. You were, you were playing for blood. I like. You're the one I that have, started it. I still you started have, a two state war. I still have. No, 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 no. Let's talk about this. On my hands. We started off. Him. Let's start, started off as an innocent game of air hockey, where it was the first game we played. I think it was on a cruise. No, it or, was probably. At, at a cruise. No, that wasn't the first game we ever Where played together. It? You had to have taken me somewhere. We went somewhere to an arcade. Oh, when we went to Boardwalk. Boardwalk. Okay, so the first time, so we're at the boardwalk, and you take me into your home turf, and you're like, "Oh, you want to play air hockey?" I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I like air hockey." She, you're like, "Pretty good at it." <laughs> so you, so you destroyed me the first game because I was like, I thought we were just you know playing air hockey, not. Playing air hockey. I wasn't hockey. going for blood. Oh, you beat me, and then you talk crap about how you were like kicked everybody's butt in your family, and you were like this. You were sharking people when you were younger, and all this. I'm like, oh, okay. So then it became a battle. So the next time we played, I believe I beat you, and then you might have beat me the next one, and then it was like me, me, you, you, me, me, you, and I started destroying you because you were. Uh, Here's, yeah. here's the first so don't thing call that you me the, understand. I grew up. Don't call it a comeback. Seaside Boardwalk. I've been the here arcade, for years. Played air hockey since the day I was born. I also grew up in a home with a pool table. And I played pool 24-7 all throughout my growing up years. When I met Johnny, one of our first dates was playing pool, if you recall. And yeah. to this day, I will still kick your ass in pool. Mm. It's my game. Is it you're kicking my butt or am I letting you win? You're not letting me win. You're not the type of man to let a woman win. So <laughs> I think you've already established that in everything you've said. I'm, so. I'm the type of guy. <laughs> you're not the type of guy to let me win. Um, 
I will school you. I will not let you. Connect, me. connect four. Okay, you're right. Connect no four. No one can beat me. You are a shark. No I, one can I beat would, me. I would put money on you in a connect four tournament. <laughs> so, yeah, I have, I have my few things. That you I have a do. very exclusive set of skills when it comes to <laughs> connect four. It just happen to be games no one plays. Nobody anymore. does. <laughs> Is it a board game? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh my it. god, the the size of that Connect Four at that Andretti. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh my god, this thing was like fifteen feet high. It was crazy. Um, Josh Nay said Bond 007. Is that a game? That might be. Uh, Nas said Itty B. I sent you a little pic in Messenger. Oh. I wonder if it's of the flooding. Let me see. Hi, I took this shot this past weekend at a local show. That's my 66 Imperial parked behind it on the left. Took a picture of it. He's a, got a great car. Well, look at this little bug. Great patina on it. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Anyway, thanks for sending Naz and his uh, Imperial parked behind it. Looks pretty cool, too. Um, thank you. Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, this one is, what year did you say? Mm, I didn't. So it's just a Ford F100, just but you custom, modified it? I didn't modify it. I customized it. Customized Ford. So what's the difference between modifying and customizing? You tell me. You're the expert. Is modifying changing physical, physical aspects Flizicals. of the body? When you get physical, when you when you get like Olivia and John, and you get physical, 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 or is it modifying engine? Is that I think mod in in my opinion, modifying would be you're taking um, and you're putting you know different chassis underneath the thing, and then you're doing uh, an engine swap, and you're you're modifying maybe the type of heads that it has that kind of stuff like modifying customizing is where you're taking taking the vehicle and you're making subtle changes or maybe drastic changes that it's still that same car but you're making it look like where somebody will walk up and go wait what what did they do there right that's that's great customizing okay but you know customizing could be chopping the roof you know lowering so it, i'm not french i'm the not lights. modifying my jeep i'm customizing it whereas you are I'm going to be doing a little both. Modifying and customizing. Okay. Okay. Um, Tracy said, I play Mahjong tiles. Yes, I do like Mahjong. I I forgot about that one. Can you do it on your phone, though? I don't know if I did it on my phone. I must have. I would have had to have. I think I did it on my computer. I don't know if I'll be able to see the tiles on my Is phone. Is that Mahjong you're talking about? Mahjong. Mahjong? Mahjong. Mahjong. <laughs> <laughs> Josh May said, will it do flips during a tornado and drive off? Oh my gosh. Yes. Did you see that video? That was crazy. That was nuts. Did you see that? Mm. Tornado comes by, picks up this truck, flips it in midair. The thing lands on its wheels and then drives out of the storm. <laughs> and it was a Ford. Ha! Built Ford tough, I guess. Uh, Mike Fruchy said, I play No Limit 2. It's a drag racing game. On your phone, you play that? That would That's be kind of cool, neat. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to look into that. I mean, not I. I probably won't be drag racing, but um, Tracy said yes. Google Play Store. All right, <laughs> all right. I might try it. I might try it. <laughs> I'm always so concerned. I, I'm more concerned with what I download on my computer than what I download on my phone. Why is that? Is is our phone more secure? Because I never it's have not. gotten a virus on my phone. I've never gotten a virus. On my well, phone. you probably have it. You still know it. You think I have a virus? <laughs> Is my yes, phone sick? You might you might have a virus. Your phone might have a I've virus. I've seen I've seen computers crash. You've seen you've seen I've some... never had a phone crash. Never heard of anybody with a phone crash. So hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're made a little differently. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna zoom in. Look at the detail that he's putting in here. Here's your shine. This looks great. A little bit of blue in the wheels for that chrome. It looks like there's some chrome on the front as well. Love the shadows in this. And then with the green. Very cool. 
Uh, Josh May said, might end up racing Daddy Dave. Oh, does he play? Lizzie said, that was a 16-year-old kid in that truck. The dealership gave him a new truck and a big fat check to go with it. How funny. I didn't, I didn't read the background on it. <laughs> oh, Mike said, Lizzie, it was a Chevy. I thought it was a Chevy. Or I thought it was a Ford. Somebody was saying that it was a Ford. I really couldn't tell. It was in a cloud of smoke. In a cloud wow. of smoke. Look at that. You've got the purples in there. You've got the blues in the chrome. Yeah. Beautiful. Where are we at? Hour? We're at 50 minutes. Yeah, so you knock this one out pretty quick. You can do a little bit of a background. or What would you like me to do? I don't know. What's a good complimentary color for lime green? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. What goes with lime green? I don't know. Maybe a purple? No. Maybe a dark blue? I don't know. That's a tough one. You want it to stand out. I feel like right now with the color page that it's on, it's not standing out as much. You definitely want something. What it's about... not standing out as much? No. Not with that yellow behind it. It's not yellow. Over here it looks... It's actually more of a uh, tan. Tan. Still, it does, it does look better on your it's screen. It's a lot more minty green <laughs> than than that is. Yeah. Yeah, the colors aren't always. I'm telling you, when you got when we when he prints these out, they look so much different, so much more vibrant in color. Uh, Bob saying purple, try purple because maybe that'll bring out the the purple in the wheels a little bit. Maybe do, can you do a uh, moon? The circle, you mean? Yeah, behind it. That might look cool. Might look cool. Yeah, that might have it pop a bit. I can barely see it on my copy, but looks good on that one. I don't even think I'd be able to make that bend. I mean, he's freehanding this half moon right now. Like that? Yeah. It, look at mine. That's how people are I know, but I, muted. I don't know how, how accurate your, the screen you're looking through is great either. What do you mean? The screen on that computer is not oh, the greatest. Yeah. It looks great in real life, guys. I, I do like the purple. Tracy said it looks awesome to him. What do you guys think? You digging it? Liking it and loving it? I don't know if I do the purple on the bottom. You already have the, the drop shadow there. Okey yeah. doke. Purple's gone. Can you do um can you do white background instead of the tan? Maybe that will help it. It's gonna be too plain, babe. Uh, Lizzie's loving it. Jim Christian says that's sharp, so he's digging it. This one looks like it's sitting on the ground, guys. Um, Alex Couderon is joining us. He says, nice art deco color. Yeah, I like the color choice on it. Looks cool. Very cool. Well, this has been a fun one and a quick one. I'm surprised how quickly you got it done. Right. We're under an hour, guys. And this one, uh, it's it's not 100% detailed like some of the ones you've done, but still super detailed. Just just even what you're doing now, just adding these little details. Again, not real sure how you know where all the details go, but when you pull out on these, because <laughs> when you're in close, I'm like, I don't see why he's doing this. But then when you pull back out, I can really see it. Um, Mike said, Eddie, I sent you his info. Thank you. I will take a look at that after the broadcast. Michael Williams said, should be a crowd in the background flashing pictures. Yes. True story. <laughs> <laughs> Doc said, very cool. Love the slammer. Josh May said, light spearmint. Yeah, it does look good. I'm telling you when this prints out and gets mailed to you, it's going to be, um, in yeah, even, please be, it, even it is, crisper. It is available. 20 bucks guys for our Monday night designs. Um, and we have a slew. We have four full seasons already up on the website, ready and available. And then we have, this is our 10th episode this season available. So quite a few to choose from. 
go back through if you if you've got five minutes and don't want to play one of the candy crush games or toy crush games <laughs> or whatever they are peruse johnnyjalopy.com take a look at all the cool it. arts peruse it man and here's the thing you can watch any of these monday night drawings done live as well because the link to the video for the drawing is on the website as well lizzie said screensaver so she is digging it there have been some likes and loves. Beautiful, we appreciate beautiful. you guys. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for joining us, of course, on Monday nights. Um, Doc said, have a great week, all. And thanks, JJ and Itty B, for a great day. Thanks for joining us, Doc. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, this one really does look cool. Let me zoom in on that one more time for you so you can see the detail. $20, just a, just a guys. Just a real quick one, right? 11 by 17, and excuse me, in size, shipped directly to you. We have hats, we have stickers, we have beanies, we have tons of apparel, 20 or more t-shirts available. Go to the website, watch old videos of uh, Sketchy Live, head over to our YouTube channel, Johnny Jalopy at uh, YouTube.com, Instagram, Facebook, we're all we're about everywhere. it. We're everywhere. But we're glad that you guys came and hung out with us on Monday, and we really appreciate it. Kept this one kind of short. Again, it was been a crazy week. Great job holding the fort down and talking more than me. Always. Didn't talk much. I always do. Uh, next week, we will have uh, much cooler stuff going on, much more organized because uh, this is it. This is the last of the big push at my job yes. for craziness. So I'll be in a much more fresher headspace and we'll spend some time. We'll do something really, really cool. You should cross your fingers. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll have your Jeep by then so I don't have to yes. hear it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope so too. So thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. We sure appreciate it. John Chalapi, Itty B. Uh, stay sketchy. We'll see you guys next Monday. See ya.